Hey guys, um, in this video I'll be explaining the difference between slant line and lateral edge and how to actually solve for lateral edge. In my previous video, I, I talked about how to actually solve for slant height and what it is, but uh, once again, we'll go over it. So slant height refers to um, the height of the lateral um, face of a pyramid, and it goes from uh, the center of a, a side, so any side of the base, to the top vertex or vertice. So if you were to draw a line, it would be this. And uh, there's a numerous amount of ways you can actually solve for this. Um, you can solve for the apothem, and if you're given the height, then you can use the Pythagorean theorem. If you're in, in a normal polygon, or if you're in a rectangle or a square, you can figure it out by um, looking at what half of the side lengths will be, and then be able to solve for that in that way. But a uh, lateral edge is a bit different. Lateral edge uh, refers to the edge at which um, both two lateral faces um, meet. So lateral edge also applies to prisms and other shapes because um, as we have mentioned before lateral lateral area or lateral any lateral anything that re uh, contains the word lateral um, represents a side that is the uh, side that's not the base. So this side, this side, this side and this side would all be lateral faces. So the lateral edge would be this line because this this on face face one and then face two both me at this. So this is a lateral edge. And in the example I gave you, um, our base is a square, so it's, it's kind of simple to solve for this. So what we want to do is we just want to solve. So say, for example, we have the center here. We are able to solve for the slant height by finding the distance from the center to, to the center um, to the midpoint of one of the sides. So from here, what we have to do is we have to be able to find the distance from the center to, to one of the actual um, vertices or vertexes of the base. So to do that, what we have to do is use the other side lengths we have, or other segments we have. So since this is a square, we know that 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. So we know this is 1.5. And we know that this also divided by 2 is 1.5. So we can take out our calculator and solve for it. We do 1.5 squared plus 1.5 squared. So you do 1.5 squared times 2 because it's the same thing if you're just adding it equals c squared which is our hypotenuse and then we get we get 4.5 for c but now we want to square root so we do square root that's 4.5 we do square root of that on our calculator you get 2.12 so now you know this is 2.12 the lateral edge is 2.12 sorry wrong place Lateral edge is 2.12 inch, whatever unit we use. Let's just assume units. And now, usually you're given a height. Oh, I forgot to list the height here, but the height for this problem is 5. So if I were to draw a line from here to the center, you would have a height of 5. So that segment there is 5. That's our height. So once again, we can use the Pythagorean theorem, because like I said, um, any segment on the base uh, when uh, it, it is always perpendicular to the height, so it always forms a right triangle. So you can anytime use the Pythagorean theorem. So we can do 2.12 squared plus 5 squared because it's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Equal and that equals c squared. We input this into our calculator. So 2.12 squared plus 25 because we know that's 5 squared. And we find the square root. We get a value of 5.4. C equals 5.4. So now we know 5.4 is our lateral edge or the measure of our lateral edge the length so this can be a bit different when it comes to uh, other ones like other polygons but in those situations if you're given a possum you can use pythagorean theorem and many other ways which i've listed in my previous videos to solve for this so uh, thanks for watching uh, please subscribe to the channel if you've been watching a lot of videos um give the video a like if you thought um it was good you understood it well and i hope to see you guys next time